Do you feel insecure? Do you feel fear? Don't worry, today we will create a tank for you. And if you want to download all that I created so far, use all my illustrations, my tools, my brushes, secret color combinations, go on the gigantic.store. Okay, so first we will start with the central part of the tank. And for that I will need the rectangle. And it will be yellow. Okay, something like this. Then I will make these corners round. Just on the upper part of the shape. Okay, something like this. I can change the background color for now. Okay, so... Beautiful. Now I will copy this shape. Control C, Control F, move it here. And I will use darker color for this part. Okay. I can increase the size. And here I need one more shape because it will be the shadow. So I will copy this shape, change the color and delete the upper part of the shape. Boom. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Now I want to create one more rectangle here. Okay, something like this. And use this dark yellow color. And I will round this corner just a bit. Oh. And this one until the end. That's it. Beautiful. Then I will copy the shape. Move it here. Something like this. Okay. And use this light yellow color. But as you can see here I have this gap. And I will fix it very easy. I need just one rectangle for it. Okay. Cool. And here I need shadow as well. So I will copy the shape and create a shadow. Okay, so now I will group this lower part of the tank's body and the upper part as well. And here I can create one more rectangle. It will be a rounded rectangle and it will be placed for the character. Okay, something like this. But I can fix it later. Now, the most interesting part of the tank, the wheels. So, it will be very easy. I need just one rounded rectangle. Something like this. Okay. Then, I want to create the outline. So, click here on the stroke. And pick up the dark grey color. And here, I can change the size. Okay. Pull, then go into object, path, and use outline stroke. Beautiful. Then I will copy these shapes, move it here, use unite. In that way, I will create one object from these shapes. Send to back. Okay, I think that I need to change the color, but first I will finish this part. Okay, here I'll create a shadow and I will use the same color as I did here on the upper part of the wheels. Okay, here I will create a circle. It will be darker a bit, something like this. And copy the shape one more time. Okay, cool. Group these shapes and duplicate it. And basically that's it. If you want to make it more interesting, you can create a few details, something like this, I will show you. Here, I will create the rectangle, I will duplicate it, and repeat the process with Ctrl plus D. And I can do that on this part as well. But here, I can use rounded rectangles. Okay. Change the size a bit and move it here. Beautiful. And now I will copy this part, move it here and send to back. Okay. And here I want to create lower part for this. Not bad. Beautiful. Okay. Now the details. So, here I'll create one red part. 
Make these hornets rounded. Copy it. Send to back. And use lighter red color for it. Group the shapes and copy it one more time. Move it here, change the size. Okay. And try to put these shapes here. Okay, I like it. Here I can create a sign, something like that. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now I need one more part here. So, I think that this is the most important part of the tank. Okay, I need the rectangle here. It will be yellow, something like this. I will copy it. And here I will create one red rectangle. And I need to create shadows as well. So I will copy these shapes and change the size, something like this. Here I will change the color to dark yellow and here to dark red. Okay, and here I can add one rectangle for the glow, something like that. It will be a rounded rectangle. Now I can create one more rectangle here. Okay, change these corners. And I need a shadow for this part as well. So I will copy the shape. Okay, now move it here. Copy it one more time. And now select the copied shapes and use minus front. Okay. And here I can add one more white round rectangle for the glow. Okay. Maybe I can change the size a bit. I think that it will be cute in this way. Oh. Okay. So, I want to create a soldier, and the soldier will be purple. So it means that I need to change the color for the background. And I don't know which color I will use here. But let me check a few colors. I don't know, maybe this green. I think that it can be cool. Okay, I will try with this color. But it will be more interesting if I create a trial here. So, for that I will use the rounded rectangle. Send to back and create a few details. And for that I will use this shape. Okay, group the shapes, send to back and copy the shapes for the second part of the wheels. Okay, I like it. Beautiful. And now the soldier. So it will be very simple. You will see. First, I will create the rectangle, so this will be the face. Okay. Then I will create one black part for the eyes, and that's it. I just created the face. Okay, maybe I can change the size a bit. Now I will create one more part here for the helmet. And for that I can create the semicircle. I will try it with that. Okay. Beautiful. Here I can create one more part. And one more rectangle for the body. Okay, that's it. Now the arms. It will be very simple. I will just create the rectangle. And make these upper corners round. Okay. I will use light purple color for it something like this and I will copy it for the back arm as well move it here and send to back okay beautiful here I can add one yellow part it will be interesting and here I can add some sign as well so for that I will create a rectangle it will be white make these corners round and I will create something like a heart. 
So I will copy this shape, rotate it by 45 degrees, make the heart, okay, and rotate it by 180 degrees. Whoop. Okay, unite these shapes and move it here. And basically that's it. Now I can group the shapes, change the size of the shapes, and let me check. Okay, here I can change the corners as well. And that's it! We are ready for the fight! Okay, and if you want to go a few steps further and learn even more or just hang out with me on a daily basis, become part of this incredible list here. You will be able to watch my exclusive video tutorials and become part of the private community. This will be game changer for you if you are serious about your creative future. So take action right now and do something good for you and your family. And remember, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.